Yo, 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 yo. What's cracking, everybody? Outlaw here, Dad's After Dark. Speaking of what's cracking, I'll tell you what's cracking. That's the top of this brew can on this second rodeo I'm enjoying right now. Second rodeo, you got that right. That's Lost 40, buddy, all day, every day. Let me tell you a little bit about that Lost 40. Tell you how you get some. You go by their tap room over there at 501 Bird Street, Little Rock, Arkansas, 72202. Walk in with a growler. Let them fill one up fresh off the taps right there at the bar. Check them out on the inner tubes, www.lost40brewing.com. Give them a call, 501-319-7275, or get on the social media. Track them down on the Instagram. Look them up on the Facebook. Whatever you do, just make sure you tell them Dad's After Dark sent you. Get by there today. Hook yourself up with some Lost 40. Bicycle. Two dads after dark radio. It's Wednesday night. It is time for round two, 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 two. Fight. <laughs> Is your microphone on? Oh my god, Grandpappy, turn the microphone on. Oh my, god. we broke. Swear him. to God, man, I tried. Oh, <laughs> we, we done broke Grandpappy again. I was reading Alvy's post. Hey, Brian Bull's watching. Matt Cody's watching. What's up, Matt Cody? Cody. Dude, speaking of Matt Cody, he's a hell of a golf partner. I had a lot of fun playing with him. That's the closest you ever come to being third, not not counting any of your shots. <laughs> Dude, we played. Uh, we played as a, we played a two man scramble. Uh, you know, you were there, obviously. You and uh, you and Rod and uh, well, Mick Hamlos are tagged along as well. <laughs> and uh, me and Matt Cody were three over through the first nine, and then uh, the tenth hole, we we got a birdie. We were two over through ten, and then we finished like. What do we finish? Eight over? Yeah, somewhere yeah. around there. Yeah, we, we, but you know, in defense of that, I started playing like crap. I started getting sick. I played like crap down the down the stretch. Matt Cody kept us in it, so kudos it to was, him. It was hot. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It was well, hot. I, my biggest problem is I didn't sleep the night before. Yeah, not many of us did. I, I maybe slept an hour. And finally at like 5 a.m., I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm up. I don't care anymore. Yeah. I'm awake. I got up. Yeah, we won it again. We did good. I honestly like I went into the to the eighteenth hole thinking we didn't win this year. That's like you, you gotta shoot par? Yep. We shot two under. Two under? I thought it was I Or thought, was it two over? No. No. I thought you shot par maybe one one under. Seventy two, seventy three. I, I it was it may have been. It was either par it would might have been one over par for the course. But regardless, it was uh <laughs> Tee your eyes are red there, buddy. It just got warm in here. <laughs> yeah. He's hurting. <laughs> but it was it was it was not a good round of golf. It was a okay round of golf, but for a two person scramble, we left a lot of putts on the green. We had some we just it was bad. We did not play good. So we went Why and he said one under. One under, okay. So we went into the end of the eighteen and I'm thinking, I was like, There's no way. I mean, we just did not play good golf. And apparently everybody else played pretty dead come close to us because we still won it just by a couple strokes, but it was not a deserved win based on our playing. So, but we had fun. We had a good time. We missed dealing out there. Yeah, we did. Well, you probably did better without me, dude. I suck. Well, that's not the point. I'm garbage. No, man, it was fun. No, I was saying that, you know, me and Matt Cody, we were uh, two over through 10. And then we finished eight over. Like we didn't finish strong at all. But we, heck, we we the first uh, the first nine we shot pretty solid. The back nine, not so much. We had our first birdie and our first double bogey. Bada boom, bada boom. 
I man, we need to holler at the boys over at Bevel Motorsports too, man. We, we had, do. We hadn't had it's a chance a to go out there. We hadn't had a chance to do anything. I see they got some uh, wingless sprints coming up at I thirty. I kind of want to go to that. One. Yeah, those will be fun. Those will definitely be fun. Yeah, go, go ahead and give them a shout out while you get you get your papers, don't you? Oh man, that's a big big deal there. But I mean, just Bevel Motorsports, that whole crew, the B seven, the nine S, the nines, the nines. Um, we do. We need to get down to the track before season's over with, and go down there and hang out with those guys. We we got a break coming, so not many. We still got a couple more <laughs> weekend stops to go hit, but yep. Um, yeah, you say man. break. Like his idea of a break is like uh, having a Thursday night at home. Right. Yeah. Does not happen often. Hey, my buddy Charles is watching, and what's up, Jason Thompson? How you doing, buddy? JT, dude, I'm not gonna lie. This is the second part of the show, so I can say this now. So I went and peed. It burned. But I didn't oh. wash my hands. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> That's no way no. Did you rub, you rub it in your eyes? No, nah, man. I just, it, my, it burns a little bit. My uh, Your pee burns? Yeah. No, nice. not my urine, but my, <laughs> His wee -wee. my pee pee. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, dude. It, it, yeah. Screw those chips. <laughs> Uh uh. Dude, have you ever put some of that like uh, you ever use that like the high the icy hot? Icy hot. Yeah, dude, I accidentally did that one time and thought I washed my hands thoroughly. No. Oh. And then I touched where I shouldn't be touching and oh, yeah, it burned. Do you know that sweat magnifies the burn? Really? Oh my god, yes. That makes sense, man. You you know how they you know how they do it like it it looks like a stick of deodorant? Right. Yeah, I did that. I just grabbed it. I was I was sixteen, seventeen years old. I woke up good work one morning, I was hung over, so I just grabbed it and Oh, whatever. About ten minutes, and I'm like, God, dude, am I allergic to this stuff? And I started sweating really bad. I was miserable, man. So, so back in high school, was it worse than the chip? No, I was. <laughs> I was in junior high, ninth grade. He made it all the way to ninth grade, playing for the the high school varsity nice. team, playing baseball. And the first few rounds was that your first year in ninth grade, or yeah? Okay. Some of the guys did not appreciate the fact that I should have been on the JV team and I was starting on the varsity team. And well, they can suck it. I got a. Uh, I got picked on a little bit. They threw sand in my jock strap and threw dirt in my cleats and this, that, and the other. So I snuck over there one afternoon, and I knew that it was one of five people. So I took my deodorant stick of Icy Hot, and I completely painted their jock strap and their cups. Oh, oh you're oh. such a jerk. <laughs> With Icy Hot. Oh my that was a ballsy God. move. And it was about the third <laughs> inning. You can see one dude out there, dude. He was doing a pee pee dance, but you thought they put a daggum asshole to ants in there. And dude, he was, coach was like, what the hell is. I had to fess up, tell everybody what I did. It was worth it, though. It was worth every lap I ran. You don't pick on Outlaw. Yeah, no, pick Jeez. on his. <laughs> put Icy Hot in your jock and you'll freaking <laughs> sweat. And it's like somebody got a, a match down there with his shit on fire. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Don't want none. Man, that does not sound like a good time. No, it wasn't. They did not enjoy it at all. Is that the worst prank you've ever done on somebody? Nope. We used to put pepper spray on the handers of the urinals. <gasps> <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Yeah. That's a dick move, dude. 100%. Yep. Any reason why? Because most people flush before they pee or right as they're peeing. I don't ever flush urinals. So it's like... And then they grabbed their goods. It was just to see. Joke's on you. I use my foot. Right? On a year. You're flexible. <laughs> <laughs> I do. God. I, I karate kick that shit. Yeah, man. I don't ever. You use your hands to flush a urinal? I, I don't flush them. I punch them. You punch them. I knuckle them. <laughs> he knucks. Give me knucks. Good job, urinal. What's up, homie? <laughs> Yeah, I don't ever. I don't ever. No, I seriously, dude. Like, I, when I go to a rest stop somewhere, I'll I will kick that son of a bitch, and I'll when I'm using the toilet, I will use my foot to flush the toilet. <laughs> dude, I just got a I just got a middle image like like Glover's peeing, and he goes to pick it up, and then he just like falls and then face first into the urinal. Like <laughs> he wakes up with a urinal cake in his mouth. <laughs> we did a prank once. Tastes like bubblegum at Taco Bell, and it was one of the scariest pranks because this dude completely lost his marbles, but. We took about six packets. I say we. It was me. Um, <laughs> about six packets of the fire sauce. Oh. And if they're so they're long, right? You take it and fold it in half, long ways to where you it's in half, and then bite just a little tiny bit of it, and then you lay them underneath the seat of the toilet to where they're all facing in. Oh. 
<laughs> I was like five minutes done, and this big old boy goes in straight. I mean, he he was crab walking into the bathroom. So I knew it was it was this is it this is the one. That's horrible. But he worked there, didn't and he? You hear the door shut, and then we all start looking at each other, and you hear. <laughs> yep, he said in that one, mm. dude. He came out with his pants down. He had freaking hot sauce all over his ass and legs, and I'm sure his, his ball sack and everything. Oh, dude commenced to throwing chairs. Like, he was mad, raging mad. Yeah. That's a dick move, man. Taco Bell called the police. We slid out the front door. Because at the time, Taco Bell had a door facing the street and a door, yeah, front door. We went to Arby's. We parked at Taco Bell. We went to Arby's. <laughs> it was time to go. Yeah, he was mad. Cops came. Wait till all the cops go, all right, let's go get our car, yeah. man. Thank God. And I didn't realize that there was a couple other people had went into the bathroom and came out close to the same time as I did, so there was no proof as to who did it. Oh. Yeah, camera footage, everything. Yeah, it was ridiculous. I was scared. Mm -mm -mm. I that's, like, a, that's a dumb one. It was fun. <laughs> it was funny as hell. It was scary, though. I like going up in the urinals. Like, I did it a bunch at the hangout, where I just go up to it, and I'm peeing. I look around and be like, this must be where the dicks hang out. <laughs> 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 Yeah, there's some of them laugh. Some guys just like, oh, "What's this?" Guy My buddy will do that about? too. I had a buddy of mine. We used to go to the cowboy and have be complete, just a whole row of them, and it's all full. And he'll go, "Boys, my hands are freezing. Anybody want to hold this thing?" Oh, oh wow. my god, that's crazy. Somebody's like, "Yeah, sure." Yeah, yes sir. Yeah. Yes sir, totally. That's crazy. Well, man, are you done? Are you good? I don't know. <laughs> you gonna poop your pants? No, I don't have. That's the last thing I gotta do. No, nah, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Dude, my, my pee-pee's on fire, dude. <laughs> like, it just, you know, I, I just, I that's wouldn't the, pee. That's the chlamydia. No. Right. No, I get rid of that before. <laughs> before, before Gold Shores. Before we came to that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all are going to get me divorced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get home. What are you, what, what, what's Clever talking about? You got chlamydia. Right. What's that? Man, there was one morning. Um, What morning was that? It was like 3 o'clock in the morning. And I, I it, was, it was a Saturday that I got sick. We left the hangout early. And I went and crashed. So oh, about three yeah. or four hours later, I woke up and I'm like, okay, I feel a little bit better. I'm hungry. Yeah. So I go, I go into the fridge and I'm in there in my boxers. I got nothing else on. <laughs> I go to the fridge to get some uh, get some pizza. I'm like, sweet, dude. Without even missing a beat, I turn around and Dylan is standing right behind me. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, we hung out there for a little bit and just you know, Pete's kept trying to tell us to to hush, and I go, shh. You guys are being shh. Shh, shh. Quit being so shh, shh. Oh, she, <laughs> Dude, you ever want to piss Paige Johnson off? Shush her. Right. She hates it. I do it all the time. Shh. All right, tell her. I tell her, chill out, dude. Gee, uh, they don't like that. No, no, don't like you don't ever tell them to chill out. I Jason, Griffin I mean, said, I, yo, Jason Griffin said, yo, from New Orleans. Yo, what's up, Nola? What up, down there, Nola? Nola. <clears throat> how humid is it, and how bad does Bourbon Street stink right now? Oh. Uh. Could you imagine? I lived there for a little while, man, and it's that town. It's like yep. it's it's a good place. Like it's cool to visit, but you definitely oh, yeah, don't yeah, want to live, live there, man. There. Does does he live there? No, no, no he lives right down the street. Down the street. Oh, he's just visiting. Working. No, oh, he's working. Yeah, he's working all over. He's well, see, I've been to New Orleans a few times with my buddies, and then uh, Angela and I went one time, and I told her, I said, we got about a block away from Bourbon Street. I said, I'm just going to warn you right now. It smells like piss. It has puke. a very distinct smell. Mm. Yep. It smells like weed, piss, and sex. sex. <laughs> mm. and, and it's exactly what... It, and boob sweat. And boob sweat. <laughs> mm -mm. I said it's a very distinct smell. It's it's unlike anything you've ever experienced. Nah, man. It's bad. It's real bad. Yeah, I don't want to. Especially when it gets real... You see, in the wintertime, like when it's kind of chilly, you, it doesn't really stink that bad. But in the... In the heat of the summer, especially whenever the humidity kicks up, it's it's rank, dude. Mm -mm. It's rank. Only imagine. There's a lot of cool jazz bands down there, like that uh, that perform on the streets. Mm -hmm. Oh, those are fun. Yeah, yeah, like right in front of like the big uh, the old courthouse or whatever. Well, Brad and Chandy, they just got back. Oh, Brad and Chandy. Yeah, from New Orleans, and uh, they were telling me about it, and I was like, "How was how?" I said, "How was the smell?" He's like, "Dude, you get on Canal Street and you could smell it." Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Ew. that's bad. I already know, man. But I did tell I did tell Angela. I said, "Here's the coolest thing about it, though. 
the greatest thing about New Orleans, no matter what time of the day you're hungry, there's food. Oh, dude, there's food everywhere. I was like, you can eat at... You can eat at 6 a.m. You yep. can eat a slice of pizza at 6 a.m. Yep. That's what's up. You can eat a slice of pizza at 4 a.m. Whatever you want. It's everywhere. I said, you can get a big-ass margarita to go at 4 a.m. You can get up. the same thing to go at 8 a.m. I like those hand grenades and the big-ass beers. Yes. 32-ounce the... cups and the big, tall hand grenades. Yep. You say yeah. big-ass beer, that's the name of it. Big yeah, big-ass beers. Ass beers yeah. yeah. Love big beers. So, she would get whatever whatever the cup was. It was like a punch cup like that was that big around. Mm-hmm. And they were like 10 bucks a piece. Yeah. And I remember she had three or four of those. She was gone. Some hurricanes. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. So, not to change the subject, but have you noticed? But I'm going to change the subject. Have you seen this right. new? There's a thing on Facebook they just started called Highway 5 Sonic Ditch. Sonic Dicks? Ditch. Oh. D-I-T-C-H. Oh, dude, there's always Rex right there. So, apparently... For some reason, nobody can seem to find the driveway of this place. And people have now are going against Sonic and trying to make them fix the driveway because there's like multiple pictures on here of vehicles in the ditch. I mean, to be fair, regardless of what anyone says. Like, so that's the one in Bryant you're talking about? Yeah, on Highway 5. I mean... Look at this truck. It's not Sonic's fault they can't drive. No. What on earth? Like, all of them in the same spot. Like, there's multiple vehicles. It is a bad spot, but you just got to half-ass be paying attention, you know. And I mean, <clears throat> it it's crazy the amount of people who have driven off in this ditch. That's crazy. I mean, I can't say the last time I've been over that way, though. It's been a minute. I said five days ago somebody did it. I'm over there every Wednesday. Hey, our buddy Brittany Mariner's watching. What up, B? What up, BM? She's been busy on the day. Hello, um, Brittany. On the, Hello, uh, Brittany. On the upstairs kitty park. Hashtag free Brittany. The, not kitty park. Why did I say park? Kitty park. Kids room. Oh, kitty yeah, room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up there. Dude, that freaking kid's got an insane room. Yeah, dude. that's yeah, wicked. That's pretty cool. Wicked. Wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked, sma- wicked. wicked smart. It's wicked Wicked cool. smart. It's probably parks a car in the yard. And no more. Hit a homer. <laughs> Dude, there's so many pictures. You got to go check it out. I'm just not sure. I got to go read into it. I just got added to the group today. You're asked to join it. Highway 5 Sonic Ditch. D-I-T-C-H. Hmm. We check. should make it a Dad's After Dark project. Check we'll get it, it fixed. Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll send something. Let's go flag ditch. traffic. <laughs> oh, God. Let's just stand up there. We would call flag them more right into the ditch. <laughs> stand in front. the driveway and point them to the ditch. We're just trying to get content. I wonder if you could be held responsible for that. If you just go out there and stand in front of somebody and just, like, wave for them to do something. <laughs> and, like, 100% you, know, I'm, I'm, you I'm, would get sued and lose. I'm a nobody. Right. You would get. Well, he told me to. Yeah. One, dude, that is the perfect world we live in. Right What's now. your name, sir? Rodney Lewis. <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> oh, yeah. You can go stand in front of that. You can't necessarily say you destroyed it. Debo but. said, hey, y'all, did I miss the hot chip? Yeah, Dylan, you, can, you can do it again. Uh, hell no, I ain't doing it again. No. It wasn't as exciting. Hey, it says on the back, it says destroyed. Yeah, I destroyed the one chip challenge. I think it, says it destroyed me. I got destroyed. I'm out. There needs to be one of those that says that. My beehole is going to be destroyed. It's over. It's, it's, it's done. I'm done. My wife did say she's been to that Sonic many times and has never had trouble finding the driveway. That's what I'm saying, she's man. She's a I mean, terrible driver, so if she could do it. Yeah, come dude, on, it's how not, stupid it's you not gotta Sonic's be. fault that people can't drive. I man. think I'm going to go do a live interview with the ditch tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> ditch, please. <laughs> ditch, please. <laughs> so, how many cars have you eaten today? Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, right. From now I kind of want you to do it. Right. I should go do it. Go interview. The hey, ditch. guys, this is Alan Long coming hey, live at you from the ditch. This is our new segment on Dad's After Dark. Ditches be crazy. <laughs> Ditches be crazy. Ditch, please. <laughs> Ditches be tripping, dog. Ditches be cray cray. That's crazy. Dude, that's funny. Well, I say. Well, man, we've got our putt-putt tournament coming up here shortly. We do. We've got to get uh, some more whole sponsors for that one. Maybe we can get these assholes to sponsor us since they got... S- Stupid oh, chips. Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> is that is that the is that no. oh I didn't know. That was lit. Dude, they're selling one chip for seven bucks a piece. Six ninety nine. For one. I mean, look at the packaging. They went all out. It's cool. I mean it's hot, but it's cool. <laughs> He's like, no, there's nothing cool about what oh, just man. happened. You want a backup chip? My head hurts. You want one of those? 
No. They're, they're chilly lime. Never eating chips again. Please, I'm done. I'm fired. I'm out. I quit. I'm out. Yeah, the putt-putt tournament's going to be cool, man. We've gotten <clears throat> we've gotten a lot of assistance so far. Yeah, speaking of speaking of Brittany Mariner, she's been a big integral part of that. Yep. She, well, you know, she got us over to that putt-putt tournament. Yeah, you and stole her what, idea. That's what started everything. I did not steal their idea. Their you idea was already it. in play. I just borrowed it. I'm borrowing. You can have it back. Yeah, 100%. We'll help them next year. Hey, what's up, Garrison? How you doing, buddy? G money. But, yeah, the putt-putt tournament, we've got, I mean, Danny over at Central Arkansas Appliance is down there on Arch Street. I don't know this Danny guy, do I? <laughs> he, he sounds like a great guy. Yeah, you haven't met him. He is always, anytime somebody says something about fundraising or. Somebody else just chimed in. Lee Freeman's like, did I miss the eating of the chip? Come on, Dylan. Round two. Where's BHM when we need her? Mary and Dylan both ate it. Yeah, I'm out. But go back anyway, and watch the, the the video thing, man. Be, hey, I'm Lee and uh, Lee and Debo, be looking, uh, be on the lookout. I will have uh, YouTube videos posted tomorrow. I'll have clips of it. Yeah, yeah, it was all right. It wasn't as exciting as it should have been. I'm gonna add fireworks to the video. We'll make it exciting. Mary, sorry, sorry I disappointed. Mary took her old. excitement and ran to the like house. she took a bite and left. Yeah, she gone. She's like, guys, I'm here for the show. Whatever you need from me, I got you. Give me a bite of that See trip. You. Adios. <laughs> That's why. I Don't film me. Uh, that was intense, man. So, anyway. Lee says, I just got off work. He said, like, no, I will not go back and watch. Do it, do it, do it. <laughs> no. Don't do it. Nah, Lee, we'll have the video posted up tomorrow, man. No. Definitely check <laughs> it out. out. You can watch the beginning of this live. I wonder if there's a way you can condition, like, your, like... If there's a spice workout or something for your taste buds where you can just. That's a great idea. We should like, Google it. Like, I might tongue, eat it. like tongue push ups. Yeah. I might. Uh, I'm, you I'm just might... like, hey, you just like that spice, you just dip your tongue in it like a little push up. Yeah. I'm, I might. I might. I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. <laughs> yes, you will. I might do it next week again. 72 pages in our book. I know Wiley said he wanted to come off, come back up here and do it. So we'll we'll save Wiley it for him. There. Yeah, there we go. We'll, we'll get another one. Seventy-two pages of what? I'm, of, of notes. Are that, you writing? Are you, is that like your songbook? No, dude. I said you suck. Oh, Jason Griffin <laughs> came off in here, broke in in the middle of the night, and wrote us some uh, motivational speeches on every single page. Oh, that's so sweet. Now, the it, first one says, "Jason says yo from the home front." And then the next page says, still drunk, yo. <laughs> <laughs> the next one says, woo, you play bagel like a bitch. <laughs> That's why we were all in here playing bagel that night. Damn, we lost again. You suck. Mary, don't like your music, sucker. He didn't like Mary's music. I don't even remember what was playing. Probably some Buck Cherry. <clears throat> he says, my wife is hot playing bagel. P.S. You suck. Hey. Damn, you look at the redhead. Oh, go his wife's redhead. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, what was I was going to say, my wife's redheaded too. Damn, back off, dude. Is former, she really? Yeah. Former ball player, hell, Mary throws better than you. Man, you can take that back. Ooh. That was it. All these motivational speeches. Mary let you down on the beach, man. <laughs> Playing back. Yeah, yeah, we that does not count. We're I don't gonna, know those wanna, boards. Those yeah. those well, ones, boards. Those were slick, the, bro. The new dad boards, which I still haven't taken videos of. Sorry, Brent, but I'll get them up. Uh, I, I, they've got to be sanding down a little bit, man. There's two damn slick. Where's the other? Are they in the trucks? They're still in the truck. Yeah, I need to get them ones out and put back in here so we can get to practicing. Yep. But uh, <clears throat> Mary let you down. You got beat by foreigners. Yeah. Yeah. He we, got he got some ringers up against them. I mean, heck, I I cover. I I freaking carried us every game we played. How's your back? And it's my ankle still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those other folks come in. It was crazy. I throw a ringer, he throw a ringer. I'd leave one on, he'd leave one on. He'd throw one in, I'd throw one in. We were just back to back, following each other the whole way. But meanwhile, yeah. Dylan and I got beat by some uh, some preteens. Yeah, and then she said, "It's just a game, dude. It's not my fault. You suck." Oh, Ooh. I was just I just looked at it for a minute. I was like, "Okay." We got beat by two eleven year olds. Yep. I don't know if I'd even told you about that. Two uh, two sixth graders. No, oh, well, I suck at things. <laughs> I can play drums and I can play bass. Everything In my defense, of playing on those boards, uh, like it took us an hour to get used to throwing on them because you yeah. couldn't slide them. No. It had you had to drop it straight in, or you had no chance. Yeah. I didn't get to throw on them 
at all. They slick, especially with the sand on them. Whoa. Yeah, real slick. It's all right though. They'll get there. We'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll take care of them. We should put some usage on them. We need to have a bago tournament. We do. We need to do that. We'll do that after we get done with the uh, the putt putt tournament. We'll put on a dad's bago tournament. We down need there. to do a snowball bago tournament in the snow. Ooh. Who's to say we're gonna get snow? How do you know this? I mean, we will. I mean, we only had two weeks of it last year. We'll make some. Stuff. Yeah. Or earlier this year. I I'll rent a snow machine. Dude, that was the longest I've had off consecutively in a minute. Right. Really? I got one day off during all of that. <sighs> for real. Welcome to the world of restaurants. No, I stayed home. I stayed in the hotel for three nights, just so I can be at work the next day. Mm. You're a company man. Through and through. I'm also a radio man. Yeah, you got that one <laughs> meaningful thing. The one meaning, the yeah. only thing in my life that's meant anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> and we were there when it happened. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. That's mm-hmm. so cool. Well, I'm uh, I'm about, I'm about toast. He said he's done. I think we should. Uh, you want to wrap it up early? We can wrap it up early. Yeah, wrap let's it wrap up, it up early. Sounds like a plan. We miss, we miss Rodney. So yeah, let's wrap yeah. it up early. We get Rod get here. We gotta let him go back and recuperate. Um, Dylan, I'm gonna be checking on you tonight, man. I'll be all right. I'm gonna go home and eat some melatonin gummies and pass out. And say bye, sickle. Melatonin gummies. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Tenderloin gummies. Tenderloin, them pork tenderloins. That's right. Tenderloin gummies. Nice. Yep. yep. I say we roll. All right, man. I'm done. Well, guys, uh, be looking on our Facebook page. We are going to continue to post the uh, stuff for the Putt Putt Tournament. We do need your help with that. Do us a favor. Continue to share that. Um, ask, your, ask your mom and them if they want to get involved in that. We could really use all the help we could get. Do us a favor. Go check us out at Dads After Dark. Uh, Dads After Dark Radio on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. Check us out, Dads After Dark Radio on TikTok. There's quite a few of uh, new new uh, content over the over the last week or so. Um, I'm pretty sure we'll be adding some more stuff here shortly. Other yes. than that, podcast coming out probably tomorrow, and uh, we'll have some more YouTube videos tomorrow. Be checking out for that. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy school, kiddos. And find us at uh, yeah, and also find us at uh, OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah, we're there, but there ain't no <laughs> are we? When are we gonna do the underwear show? I got I got to finish the, setting up the account. Oh wait, we're supposed to wear underwear. Man, real quick, so there was a customer of mine that went in and quit his job with no notice or nothing. And when he was asked, why are you quitting? He said, me and my wife make $30,000 a month with our OnlyFans. I'm out. Are they doing anything on it? Yeah. (sighs) Hey, (sighs) babe, get the camera ready. Right? 30 Gs a Mm -hmm. month. And here's the thing with that, man. That's not going to last forever. That's not... No, if people get smart. tired of it. Uh, no. Well, the, I'll I'll, exp- I'll I'll say what I was going to say, but I can't say it on here. So Why the hell not? Go well, for it. No. Well, I mean, no. there's things like that you can look at for free. Right. You know what I mean? And, I mean, well, it's, it's I, a wave, but... It, a lot of it may be one of those... It's going to white cap soon. But they take, they take requests, too. I prefer to drink Dr. Pepper instead of Coke. I guess so. I don't know. I'm That's a soda fan myself. Yeah. 30, 30 grand a month. 30 Only G's fans. a month. Let's go. All right, wife. I'm coming home. Get the camera ready. Get the yeah. engine started. We're, 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 we're jumping on this. Wah, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to see uh, you guys later because I don't have to do this show anymore. Yep. 30 grand a month. Wrap it up. Peace. We'll be gone. All right, guys. Check us out next week. Bye, Sigal. Have a great week. I guess I should hit the thing. <laughs> It's kind of boring, bourbon, velcro, new balances Patted on my nose, making G funny packs, that's on me Blue jean shorts, yeah, that kind of short That's after dark, that's after dark That's after dark, that's after dark, that's after dark